two pilots from an Indonesian airline are facing criticism following the revelation in an incident report that both of them fell asleep during a January flight with over 150 people on board. The pilots were reportedly unreachable for about half an hour, awaking to discover that the aircraft had deviated from its intended course as outlined in the report. The incident transpired during a round-trip Batik Air Indonesia flight between Halu Olio Airport and Sokorano Hatta International Airport in Jakarta on January the 25th. While preparing for the initial leg of the flight from Jakarta, the second-in-command pilot, who is a 28-year-old with approximately 1,600 hours of flying experience, informed the pilot in command that he hadn't had sufficient rest. This is according to a report by Indonesia's National Transportation Safety Committee. In response, the commanding pilot, a 32-year-old with around 6,300 hours of flying experience, permitted the second pilot to rest for about half an hour during that leg of the journey. On the return flight to Jakarta, carrying 153 passengers and four flight attendants, the commanding pilot, who had rested during the first leg, asked the second pilot if he could take a turn to rest, which was granted. After a while, the commanding pilot woke up and offered the other pilot a chance to nap, but they declined, CBS News reported. Approximately 20 minutes later, according to the incident report, the second pilot, quote, inadvertently fell asleep while the aircraft was at an altitude of approximately 36,000 feet. Attempts by the air traffic controllers and other pilots to contact the sleeping pilots were unsuccessful. The commanding pilot woke up 28 minutes later after the last recorded transmission and immediately realized that the aircraft was not following the correct flight path. Investigators said nobody was injured and the aircraft was not damaged during the incident.